Like a shooting star, Andrew Yang burst upon the scene of the lead-up to the 2020 presidential election and proceeded to become an overnight sensation to the college-age millennial crowd. From humble beginnings growing up to two Taiwanese immigrants in Schenectady, New York, Andrew Yang would go on to become a successful corporate lawyer and run a large nonprofit for career building. But his passion for the American worker would not stop there, as he made a bid for the position that would lead to the most change, President of the United States. His quirky charm and his strong sense of humor, along with his unique and wide-ranging policies, quickly took over a strong, youth-based 3% of the Democratic electorate, appealing to a unique generation that prides itself on quality internet memes. His overnight success quickly led to a cavalcade of interesting celebrity endorsements. Weezer played a concert at one of his rallies. Actor and hip-hop artist Donald Glover was part of the Yang Gang. He received support from none other than Tommy Chong himself. Far out, man. Legendary comedian Dave Chappelle appeared at a few of his rallies. His biggest endorsement was the purveyor of the pending robot apocalypse himself, Elon Musk. So today, Doc Mocker Gaming tackles Yang, 2020 Path to Presidency for PC. As we take down all the other Democratic candidates one by one and watch the orange man fall to the yellow man with the plan. First fight up, the indignant blue collar worker a.k.a. the caricature of a Trump supporter. Let's see if we can yang this bitter ex-felon. Who you calling boy? From reading the command list, apparently Andrew Yang only has one special move, the Freedom Dividend. It's supposed to be the $1,000 he's offering every month to all Americans, but it looks like an invisible playing card that may or may not hit half the time. So it's best to kind of stick to punches and kicks. Although the layout's kind of confusing because there'll be a punch and a kick on the same button depending on whether you're crouching or not. And attacks don't exactly come out right when you hit the button. It might come out a second later, two seconds later, you're never really sure. And even if you think you hit them, it could land directly on their sprite. Half the time it doesn't, even with special moves, super moves. You're not sure if you hit them or not. It's a 50-50 guessing game. That's all a recipe for a really terrible fighting game. So I definitely couldn't recommend it on that regard, but if you're into the Yang Yang gimmick, it has entertaining aspects and some really charming art design. And I will say they did a very good job on the backgrounds. See? Automated trucks are taking over, Mega Man. One of the positive aspects of his campaign was his ability to reach across the aisle and influence Americans of all beliefs and shapes and sizes and races. Yang believed that every American had a voice that deserved to be heard. In early 2019, Andrew Yang appeared on the Joe Rogan Experience podcast. With that, he broke new ground as a candidate by embracing a long-form, newer style of media, and he was able to get his message out to millions in the palm of their own hand. Yeah, baby, starting off hot. Can't give him the opportunity to use his Taekwondo and Jiu Jitsu skills. 
Believe it or not, this is not my first time playing as Joe Rogan in a fighting game. If you're under the Konami code from the old Nintendo days, you can play as him in UFC 3. Although it's pretty awkward because he's doing commentary at the same time. The backdash is pretty solid, but the forward dash just kind of locks you into a Naruto run animation. Overkill. Sorry, Joe. He probably got something hiding in the studio to kill the pain anyway. Joe only eats elk meat that he hunted himself. I'll trade super moves with you, great value Obama. I can't hate on his game though, he got Rosario Dawson. He's trying to trap me in the corner. I told you, I don't want a damn hug. Damn, he made me pay for that. That would never happen in Street Fighter. Stand in the path of a super move and it just goes right around you. Gotta be on my game right now. I'm two hits away from having to restart the entire cutscene and fight Cory Booker again. And I saved you from it, but it's a really long one, believe me. As the supers that only work half the time, tables have turned. Going heavy on the burn jokes.
Nah, Bernie loves that sort of thing. Blocked by my magical glitch force field. Everybody's seen that video of Bernie hitting the speed bag. I'm not afraid of his hands. He might nail me with a good shin kick, though. It's not exactly elegant to watch when they get in the corner. It's like watching two crash test dummies through the window of a dryer. Pretty feisty for a 78 year old. I will tell you, we must eliminate the millionaires and the billionaires. Thank you. They really had to slip in one last cheesy burn joke. Big question, will they go for the Native American jokes? Thanks, random guy named Zach, whoever you are. Oh no, they're going all in on her 1 in 1024th status as a Cherokee. Imagine you're camping in the plains by yourself and you have a hallucinogenic vision that Andrew Yang is visiting you in a suit, asking you to come to the next presidential debate. Oh, the spirit fish is going hungry today. I cut Buttigieg in the interest of time and for the fact that I didn't want to have to say Buttigieg a bunch of times. His opening cutscene was brutally long and it was just one bad joke done repeatedly over and over and over again. I'm not saying that all the writing's bad, there are a few funny jokes with some of the other people. It's too bad they probably didn't have enough money to give her a tomahawk attack or a bow and arrow. Freedom dividend lands though, sometimes.
All right, old Joe, let's see what you got. Bloodshot eye kind of makes you look like an elderly Terminator. It's not as fast as Warren, but every single hit he lands does a ton of damage. So I'll try to cut back on the malarkey. Denied the final blow of freedom. What a finish, casually bumping into each other. Kind of feel bad for Joe. He should be retired after so many years of political service, but instead they dragged him out to have his family run through the mud and to be embarrassed and lose another presidential bid while he rapidly loses his faculties. The final boss. The greatest final boss of all final bosses. Yeah, back to Mar-a-Lago, douchebag. Is there something going down with Yang and Zack? Keep my distance, he's a big hefty bastard. Damn, that looked like it was about to blow him out the door.
President Yang. I knew he could do it. Unfortunately for Andrew and the Yang gang, the New Hampshire primary would be the last stop for Andrew and Yang's presidential campaign. But through it all, he's kept his positive attitude, his sense of humor, and his spirited will for change. And who knows, maybe the Yang gang will still be around in four years, like the Bernie Bros. And we can look forward to the sequel, Yang 2024, Path to Presidency 2, Electric Boogaloo. And they'll have a whopping two special moves. If you like the video, like, subscribe, share. And if you want to win my vote, drop a donation in the ballot box down below in the description. Thanks for watching, everybody.